then. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. Um, welcome to... <laughs> um, one second. Uh, right then. Uh, hello, welcome, etc, etc, etc. Uh, welcome to one of the league games. I'm just going to get the shared to all the Facebook groups just so we already set up some asteroids here. There we go. Um, this is a league game coming in from... Um, what is this one? Uh, this is... Uh, Fangs against Falcon. It's going to be interesting. Nice. Um, so, uh, fangs, that's a thing. These things don't have any upgrades at all. Um, it's, yeah, they're really, really fun. I've been trying this a little bit. It's been going fairly well. Uh, I won a type space regional with them. Um, well, that was yesterday. So, there we go. Just about 60 players at order shot. Um, yeah, it's it's an interesting game because this is basically the final that I played last night. Um, very very cool to see the falcon being, you know, just used more. Um, there's a lot of people that passed off bishops. A lot of people have passed up big ships. Um, and it's really, really good to see more big ships appearing in the meta. Um, it's also really good to see the Falcon being flown more because we love the Falcon. The Falcon's a great ship. Um, so, yeah, give me a second. I'm just going to finish posting this to all the relevant groups and then we will get started. So for those of you watching on YouTube, you just got a little bit of de dead time uh, just while I do this. And then, yeah, we'll get rolling with the standard commentary. I'm quite looking forward to uh, doing this one this evening because the fact that... Um, uh, because the fact that I have just come off the back of a whole tournament with these guys. And a lot of you may be wondering how how does it work how how do you uh get fangs with no upgrades to do well at something a lot of people are saying scum were broken um well i disagree with you i think this is one of the strongest lists out there um but you've definitely got to be patient with it it's a really fun list but you've got to understand the capabilities of this fang so yeah, we're uh, we're gonna go ahead here and see if I have any idea what I'm talking about. Uh, so let's get some fangs on the table. Uh, so what do I want to set up here? Um, I'm gonna continue posting in a bit, but we'll just get them set up. So I want that one to be that one, that one to be that one, and that one to be that one, and then one two one two three one two three four. Just get them all coloured up so it's easy to see which which. which, which. Um, so because we're over here, I'm going to set up, so let's set up this guy at the front. I like setting up these guys so that you can easily change your deployment. If I need to, I can do a hard one and barrel out. Um, I can also, there we go, we got a little bit of space in between them so they can maneuver. Um, I can also just zoom alongside the board. It depends where people set up. Um, it means it's quite nice to just be very non-committal with your opening deployments, uh, especially at initiative one. Uh, you can very much get picked on. Uh, so the point of this list is just to point your arcs in the direction of something scary. Um, you're going to trade extremely well at range three 
and at range 1 because of the natural inherent ability of the Fang, Concord Dawn Protector. If you're getting shot at range 1 in arc, then you just get a free evade because that's how that works. Um, if you're being shot at range 3, you've got 4 evade dice. Normally you're shooting last, so you've got your focus to hang on to. Um, so you know just how aggressive you can get, which is really, really nice. Um, that's the general principle. And this game is interesting because Wedge gets to be picked on. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I mean, so what you guys may have missed coming in at the start uh, is um, with with this one. Uh, is that I won the initiative roll, which is pretty useful. Uh, it means that Fen can chase Wedge around the board pretty successfully here, um, which is a really, really big deal. Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, see what goes on. Uh, I've got the stream set up with a bit of a delay going on here. Um, uh, yes shouldn't get to it either I think so let's start timer right then so this is 16 rounds for two hours uh, this is Scott Bryant's Vassal League uh, it's pretty good fun um, there's been a bit of a delay on it but now we're getting rolling it's round one let's go uh, so as I was saying uh, there's a little bit of a delay on the stream so if you are talking to me in the chat I will eventually get back to you but I'm not gonna basically I'm uh, it means that both myself and my opponent can't actually see what's going on uh, in the chat and hopefully you can't see my dials and give him advice uh, obviously none of you would ever do that I don't know why you'd think of such a thing but uh, you know it's good to be careful it's good to be careful um, right let's work out what we're going to be doing so What we're going to attempt to do here, uh, sort of battle strategy, especially with these guys, you need to always be thinking about your end game. What do you want left at the end of the game? Um, because that is very much uh, how you're going to win this. If you're left with, say, Wedge against one Fang, you're obviously going to lose. If you're left with two Fangs against Wedge, that's a tough end game. If you're left with Fen against Wedge, you're probably going to win. Um, so I'm going to need to keep Fen alive if Wedge is going to be the endgame ship. I'm going to need to keep multiple fangs alive if Fen dies early. Uh, you've always got to keep these uh, things in your mind. When you're playing. So going to the start of this game, I have two options. I can go for the Falcon first, I can go for Wedge first. Um, in this case, if we have a look at the lists, uh, we see the Falcon is pretty scary. It's got Magva, it's got Saw. This is another reason why it's very important that my opponent has the initiative here, Dimitweed, also known as Joel. Um, because of the fact that he will shoot before me, he's not going to use that target lock on the turn that he gets shot by my fangs. Um, well, get stressed, that's fine, he knows about it for next turn, he can do a two bank out of that. Not a problem. Um, um, fairly sure you should just fail the boost there. You just you just don't don't complete the boost. So there we go. Yeah, it's, um, whilst he's complaining, it's actually quite a good move to do that. Uh, I always used to do it with the old Falcon, even before you could fail actions, because it meant that you knew, uh, as soon as the rule change came that you couldn't boost off the table, uh, I always used to test it with a one bank. Uh, so it meant that I knew that where I could get to next turn. Uh, but he has left himself stressed here. That's not a terrible situation to put himself in. Um, 
he's still got a lot of distance. If you're ever going to make a mistake, you make one here. So on that subject, let's attempt to activate my fangs in the correct order. Um, just telling him that. Right, so, and then we're going to barrel roll. Uh, this guy is going to do that, and then he's going to barrel roll. thing that you want to think about when you're flying multiple ships, which one activates first? If I'd have activated the red one first, uh, I wouldn't have had space to barrel roll, which would have been bad. Um, now, you guys can see my dials, so I'm just thinking about whether or not I do actually want to barrel roll Fen here. I didn't want Fen too close up. I was considering just doing two forward and smashing him to the back of this ship. Um, Based on where that smuggler is, I do actually want to barrel roll him because I want Fen coming up and picking on the Falcon. So Fen will just be at a slightly off angle. That's absolutely fine. Um, as for the coming rounds, let's let's start this up as a as a two hour timer, shall we? Um, so we are uh, what is it? One hundred and fifty. No, 115 minutes start. Let's go. Okay. So, wedge is over there. Now, as I was saying, I've got a few options. I can pick on wedge. I can pick on falcon. Right now, they're fairly split. So, if I can commit hard to the falcon quickly, then I'm going to be able to burn it, oh that's a big deal, I'm going to be able to burn it down fairly quickly because he's gone down here makes it more interesting might be able to get at the falcon, okay so Fen is going to crash that's fine, I slow him down, lovely so yeah he's uh, just saying there about how he's going to use a marker for the cards, it's I really, really like using markers. Uh, if anyone hasn't seen them, something like by the same token or Cogger 2, they do the uh, little markers uh, that you can say, right, falls open, ports closed, they are a lifesaver. Uh, and you can see we've just got one there on the board. It's great, it's really, really useful. Uh, because otherwise, yeah, it's just yeah, it's horrible, 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 horrible. Okay. So, um, for those of you, if you are if you are saying hi to me, etc., I can't see you at the moment. Uh, that's intentional, so I won't be paying attention to the chat this game because this is a league game, and I would be cheating um, if I was. Yeah, happy to. Uh, just clarifying. It's very, very easy to forget these dials, so you want to be careful. Right, now, I have a very good opportunity to nail down this Falcon. He's got Luke. I can see him come around there next turn, but even though it has all of the health in the world, I Wedge can't get in that quickly. So I feel like I can start to get aggressive here, and he can't really punish me for it. As I was saying at the start, think about where your engagements are going to be. Are they going to be at range 3? Are they going to be at range 1? The great thing about the fangs, if I'm moving second, which I am against this falcon, I get to choose. Because of the fact that I can see where he goes, I can then just boost. And a boost takes you almost at one full range, perhaps not quite, but almost. Um, so most of the time, unless you've landed in exactly the wrong place, you can get from range 3, um, you can get into range 3 or into range 1. Uh, and out of the frustrating range 2 bubble that you never ever want to find yourself in. Uh, so yeah, that's the idea. So it was interesting because I, I played against a few different lists uh, when I was flying this yesterday in the hyperspace. Um, going through the first game I played was against the um, Resistance 5s. So you had Tally, Lulo, uh, Nien and Ella. Um, that was a really, really good game. Uh, second game I played was against... Uh, who was it? Who was it? Who was it? I'll work out the ones that I can, I can remember. Um, 
played a game against um, Vader and Mini Swarm. That was that was pretty tight. Uh, that was it. The second game was against five A-Wings. Very, very close game. Lost that one on a knife edge by five points. Um, third game... Oh, I forgot my third game. That's frustrating. I should have taken the card home. Oh, well. Yeah. Um, of, of the different lists I played, I went up against the five Y-Wings. I went up against the Venny Bomber. Um, played a full TIE Swarm. Uh, played the five A-Wings. Uh, resistance fives, um, standard resistance. Played up against some rebels as well. So yeah, pretty pretty mixed lot. Um, not as many imperials. Although say, no, saying that I did play two uh, two solid imperial lists, but definitely more swarmy. Definitely more swarmy than it has been. Um, played against some first order as well. That was really good to see. Um, so this is the thing so he said that I was being very cute with the opening that he was being cute with the opening and I saw it coming not sure at all uh, I didn't know which way he was going to go so all I did was I was very non-committal, did a hard one I can hard one barrel again with all of my fangs if I need to if he went the other way um, but he committed this way and now I can catch him, so I'm going to attempt to do that. So I go there. Uh, now I have a decision to make. I can engage at range three. Because Wedge isn't going to be in range. Or I can wait, stay out of range, and try and catch him next turn. But what that does is that risks the wedge getting in. I think I'm going to commit to him and try and do as much damage as possible this turn, because that shouldn't be range 2. So take focus for stress. Um, and then we do one of those. We do a boost. We take a focus for stress. Might be range 2. Still, I can take a single shot to do a hell of a lot of damage back. So we're going to commit. And he, because he's moving first, his only moves are hard to this way. So I should be able to counteract that next turn. It's nice being able to block with these things. I almost took the initiative because of it. Almost. But I think it's more valuable not getting not giving him target locks from Magva. Now, see this is the reason why I decided to commit this turn. Obviously, Wedge is gonna come in hard. I would expect him to boost straight forwards here, ready for a hard three to the right next turn, um, and just come in and cut on the fangs. Uh, alternatively, he can come in and cut on Fen, which is even more annoying. There we go, that's a straight boost. Uh, not quite the room for a hard three unless he is very, very ambitious. Might fit. It's going to be very close. I wouldn't want to try that. Um, so because of that, I'm fairly sure he's coming down this little bit here. Um, right, so I go there. Uh, Fen is also going to boost... He does not want to get caught in the Falcon's arc, so he's going to boost straight forwards with a focus. Because uh, I don't think the Falcon can shoot him. So there we go. Let's get some pure. Uh, right, this is going to be an interesting engagement because Wedge, when Wedge comes in the side, he's going to nail me. So I'm, I'm just uh, going to see how much damage we can do in the opening. Because this could I mean I'm I'm at range two of a fully modified falcon um or a relatively scarily modified falcon anyway uh, this could do quite a lot so I I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit normally I get down on a table and do this uh, it's a lot harder to do that on vassal so you can do this I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna be in that arc um, uh, literally I'm holding a ruler or a piece of paper up to the board right now I I think I'm going to be an arc so I can't realistically spend my focus because otherwise he tries to shoot Fen and that's really bad for me so um, I'm going to hang on to my focus even though that was 3 hits and just try and chew through his tokens alternatively that can happen that's fine um, I'm expecting to do a lot more damage with these guys 
but what it has done is it's allowed Fen to be in a very good position for next turn. Um, does put him in a little bit of an issue here. I The problem, I'm expecting him to do a one bank next turn. I don't think I should have boosted. I think boosting was a mistake. I got very used to moving these things first and being able to block things. But that's fine. Pew pew. Hopefully I can do enough damage to cause some problems. Oh, that's just unfortunate. Well, I'll be spending that focus. Uh, yeah, not going to be taking a critical hit when I don't have to there. Uh, right, shots back. I am normally I would go for the real one first, but I'm going to see if I can get him to spend as a bait token. Three v one. Ugh. That's fine. He's the one without the focus, so he doesn't mind getting blanks and not focuses. There goes the evade token. Or he spends Luke instead. Annoying. Thank you, Falcon. Well, when he works out that he can do it. Okay, if he's not going to spend Luke, he's not going to spend Luke. I'm okay with that. Uh, 3v2 then. Oh, there we go. That'll do. Strips the token off that one. Spends the evade now. Well, he gets a reroll, doesn't he? Does he have to reroll all the dice or just one of the dice? When you defend, if you're evading, you may reroll one of your defense dice. That's really good. Okay, so he's got the evade out now. He doesn't get rerolls anymore. Okay, last one, range two. Let's see what he can do. That'll do, two hits. Okay. Yeah, that's he got out of that one pretty lucky, if I'm honest. Um, should have remembered to spend Luke. Let's see what happens here. Now the um, I'm not actually sure what I uh, what I want to do here. So the issue that I've got is that Fen is just gonna, uh, Wedge is just going to come in and blast me with a torpedo. Uh, I don't really want that to happen. That's quite a scary prospect. Uh, the Falcon has two options. He can hard two or he can one bank. If it was me, I would one bank. Uh, that means I can't really get out of this. Um, I can. Uh, the plan is going to be to just shoot him at range one with no mods, I think. Does that seem sensible? Probably. Um, Fen is probably going to be able to get a shot here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hard to this guy. Um, this guy's going to have to go left, and then he's going to crash into the back. I'm going to be at range one, so I'm going to get actions so that should be fine I think alternatively I could just hard to everyone and not crash with these two guys I think we can do that 
I think Fen is going to go toe to toe with Mr. Falcon. But the others are going to turn in onto Wedge and ruin his day. Let's do that. Ah, uh, yeah, he's realised he could have spent Luke. Right, let's just dial in, dial in my moves. Uh, the safest place for Pinky to be is in contact right now. So we're going to do that. Hopefully that means that red and blue can get a decent bead on vegetable. So the question is then going to be, where does Fen go? If I'm going to end up there, that's fine. I just need everything to get out of my way, which is also fine, I think. Right then, uh, let's go with that and see what happens. I feel like I should have taken the initiative already in this matchup. I don't mind having the Falcon fly around me. Um, but that's okay, I think it's worth it for not getting the target locks. Because that could have been a really badly damaged Fang in the first engagement. So we'll see. The most important thing here is he doesn't block Fen. Um, I think I am able to get Fen out of trouble, or at least behind an asteroid. So I get three dice against the torpedo. Wait, hey, interesting. So he has blocked Fen, but Fen's going to get to shoot. And if I do the order of these correct, I'm still going to get two shots. That's okay. Cool. Mm, probably should have bugged out. Oh well. Right, how are we going to do this? Well, blue wants to go first. Because blue gets a range one shot. So blue's just going to sit there. Um, then we might as well go with pinky. Pinky just says, Hi there, I'm happy. And goes up there. Red should clear. Oh no, red doesn't clear. Nice. So I'm going to get a shot with Fen. Um, so that's there, that's there, that's there. Set. And let's see who he target locks. He's probably going to lock Fen, in which case I'm probably going to get an exploded Fen here, and I'm going to be very sad. I took a gamble that he wouldn't do the hard two. Didn't pay off. Oh well. If I lose this because of that, that's my mistake. Decide to go aggressive and take a lock on red because he can guarantee it. No, he's gone for that. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. No, we have two locks. Oh, he's got our three. Nice. You know that moment when you should really read your opponent's list. Uh, also, another thing you should have done is you should have done a three bank and then, or a three forwards, got the afterburners boost, so he didn't have an obstruction on the asteroid. Dunk. So Fen just crashes, but he's going to get lovely, lovely shots into range one. After wedge goes though, so let's see how much I explode from this. Depends whether I actually fire with Fen here, depends how much damage he takes. The problem is if I shoot with him, then Magma gets a lock on me. Which is bad. Oh, it's Wedge. Yeah, that's stupid. Yeah, I could absolutely just die here because I'm a moron. Do, do, do. 
Well, at least we're both making stupid mistakes. Oh, don't get four hits. Don't be that guy. Oh, man. Two blanks coming. Oh, no. I didn't die immediately. That's nice. One, two, three. Flip it. What is that? Hull breach. Everything's face up. Not dead. But close. <laughs> um, okay. So. Let's see what we got. Why is why is he there? He should not be there. There he is. Must have knocked him for some reason. Let's put him back to three. Okay. I think it's worth it. Yep, totally worth it. Sometimes you've just got to say, I'm going to take that shot. That's um, that's not bad. Sometimes you just gotta ride with a variance. Oh, I wanted him to. Yeah, anyway, um, that will do. I mean, I get a crit into him. Very nice. I'm hoping that blue is gonna put some damage into him as well. So if I'm if I'm gonna lose a fang here, which I should do, um, at least I get to do a fair bit of damage to the falcon as I go down. What's the crit? Of course, Fen might not die here because he's Fen. Damaged engine. Ooh, that's a big deal. That is a big deal. Oh, what the hell? Well, we know the hard three fits, eh? <laughs> hmm. Okay. So. Apart from the fact that I've made lots of stupid mistakes here, uh, what are my next turn options? Just while he's thinking about how best to kill Fen. My next options are. I mean, I think Red has to go for the K turn. Probably? Hmm. I mean, he has a few options. It basically depends where the Falcon is going next turn. If Fen dies, then the three bank is very nice and easy and open. Uh, hard two would leave him stressed. And Wedge can just do a one forward, so I really I can't leave risk leaving the Fangs in space to get torped. So he should do all of the damage in the world here, but it depends how many eyeballs he rolls. That's that's pretty much perfect dice there. All right, let's see if I can just roll the god roll. Oh, oh, okay. That's a big mistake. Why not just spend Luke? Sure, I got lucky. I can actually survive this now. Oh, okay, no, he just got all the hits in the world anyway. Uh, I thought he re-rolled the blank, not added the blank. So, yeah, sometimes Fen just does that. I... Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, I I mean I I messed that turn up pretty badly. Dice dice dug me out. I deserve blanks. Yeah, that's that's fine. I I don't deserve to do any damage to this one now. Fen is not going to be staying there for long. I mean, you've got an evade token. Just spend the evade. Sure. Sure thing. Ah oh well, let's see what he does now. <laughs> yeah, that's um. No. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good for me. Let's just pop that lock in the bottom corner. So I am kind of expecting him to. I'm not sure what I'm expecting to do here. There are many, many options for the falcon. Yeah, I don't know. I was expecting him to do the one bank. That was the main reason I did that. The question is, where's he going to go this turn? It's a good question. We'll work that one out as we come to it. Um, I suppose I've got to have some 50-50 guesses now, don't I? This is going to be interesting. Well, the good thing is, is that Fen doesn't need to bother doing his hull breach. Uh, because, yeah, <laughs> that's a thing that's going to happen. Um, yeah, it all comes down to whether he stops in place. Because he can very easily just do a one back and stop here. If that's the case... Then where do I want to be? That's the next question. I think I've got a pretty good idea of where I want to be. So let's work around that plan and we'll go from there. He's put his I'm gonna try not to look at the dials. I've I've made my best attempts to not look at those two dials sitting on the table right there. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's good news. That's good news. I thought he placed his dials on the table and just fully revealed. Um, that would have been bad. Because, I don't know, it feels bad. If, you, if your opponent puts your uh, dials just fully on the table up, then, yeah, just no. No, no, no. Right. Now the real question is, what is Wedgetable doing? Good old Wedge. He's a pain with multiple torpedoes. He is a pain in the buttocks. Right. There's a couple of obvious things that we can do. Um, but we've also got to be careful of uh, I mean basically it's just playing a, it's playing a guessing game with this damn falcon and Wedge is in the perfect position to do similar things so <coughs> Hmm. 
Let's see, shall we? I, I reckon we can have a good go at this. I think we're good. Right, his dials are on table and set. I think I'm good. And I will talk you through my thinking when I put my dials down. Okay. So, uh, thinking here is that I can't block Fen's escape route. He needs to get out. There we go. That's actually really good for me. That's really good for me. Um, yep. So, the thinking here was that if he stayed still, I could at least dodge him with the fangs. If he didn't stay still, as is the case here, um, then I could still get some decent shots on him while doing some damage. Now, what we need to work out now is which order we go and whether or not the hard three is going to clear on this guy. The three bank's not going to crash. I'm going to try. I'm going to try the hard three. Am I? Because I know that's a range one shot. I'm going to take the guaranteed. So we know that fits. We know that fits. Um, <laughs> the question being is if I barrel roll backwards, do I still get a shot? I don't think I do. Uh, so I'm going to do something that is mildly stupid, but means I get shots. I'm probably going to get a fang torpedoed for my troubles. Is it worth it? I don't think it is. We are going to barrel backwards to there. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to get this guy going, and he is just going to sit there and take a focus. So he is stressed. Uh, then we are going to do the 4k turn, which should hopefully not crash into Fen, because I believe. And then we're going to set and hope that Wedge is down to one forwards. If he's done a one bank, at least get to shoot him with this guy. Probably, maybe. Ah, oh, he's done the one bank. Shit. Oh well. That was on red. At least red is... Well, red is only going to get one dice as well. Ugh. Right. Um, that was spent. Who was the lock on? He forgot to take it again. Oh, ah, taking a focus. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, he's already got luck. Of course he does. Right, please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. Doesn't crash. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, no need to take a focus token because I am not going to be shot. This torp is probably going to kill me. Um, but we'll see. Once I get two torpedoes out, I feel like I should have killed Wedge first this game. My target priority has been completely off, but I feel like I can still win this. Wedge is in a really bad spot. He's going to take a stress next turn. All of my fangs are going to turn in on him. So that's okay. Oh, you know that thing that I forgot? Yeah. I forgot that. Ah, oh, Jesus. So many mistakes. It's just so much easier to play on the table. Oh, you never know, Fen can god roll again. Maybe. I'm not in your arc. But I do have a focus, which I might need. At least I get one dice. 
as long as it's not blank for okay. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Stop. Oh, no, sorry. It hasn't rolled yet. Right, I'm going to cross everything. Yes! 30 rerolls into a blank. And that I get a squiggle. I would really like a squiggle. I got a squiggle. Right, two crits. Crit number one. Direct hit, not good. Crit number two is loose stabilizer. Okay, we're still alive. We're still alive. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, uh, so he's got it. What the, where'd the fang go? Hey, thanks for the sub. Where'd he go? What the? Oh. For some reason, he's managed to pick him up. Vassal's being really laggy tonight. Um, we got loose stabilizer and direct hit. Just, uh, just a reminder because when this rolls back, the crits aren't going to be the same, which is going to be annoying. So I'll just roll this back. <laughs> because he typed, the undo chain gets longer. Stop undoing things. There we go. Okay, so... Um, that's quite frustrating because if red turns he takes a damage that's a problem need to rename that Cool. So lock goes, focus goes. Falcon. Let's see if he decides to go for Fen or if he decides to go for. Oh, it is range three. Nice. I'm expecting him to go for the range one shot on the Fang here just to kill him, which would be ideal. Um, but he's probably. If he has sense, he's probably going to go for Fen, but he doesn't actually have any modifications. So, there we go. Let's just do a target lock thing. Oh, he's going for Fen. Right, blank dice against blank dice. He doesn't have Luke anymore. I can get out of this, probably. Depends on his dice. And I didn't focus because I'm stupid. And I'm not stressed either. He spent a lot last time. Oh, FFS. You know those times when you're really stupid? He did roll naturals. I should be keeping tabs. I just... yeah. Oh, he's got Sora as well. Yeah, that's this is dead Fen. He's going to just damage himself to take the focus. There's just so many cards in this list, it's hard to keep track of what's going on. Uh, at least I should be able to punish the falcon for this. Reroll, get a crit. Really? All right. Ben's getting really lucky. 
let's see what the fangs can do. Red gets angry and says that you can have two hits, which is probably just going to be one. I think I've only got two shots here. Ah, nice. Reroll. Spend the evade. Takes one. Oh, takes two hits, sure. All right then, 3v1, no modifications. Just the one crit, no, I didn't do crit at least, I'm happy with two damage. Cool. Now the question is, because I, I can absolutely just turn around and kill Wedge here. That is a thing. Um, also, because he's on five remaining, a fen can just nuke the falcon. So I can get in, uh, talking at the start of this about my end game, um, because those two fangs are still alive. <laughs> Round five. Because my two fangs are still alive here, uh, that gives him a... That gives him a tricky conundrum. Uh, there is a vegetable who is either going to become entirely irrelevant for a couple of turns or is going to end up right in front of me, which is good news. His falcon is not in the best of health. So, yeah, let's let's see what happens here. I mean, there's, gonna, there's a couple that are easy to work out. There's a couple that are not, I think. Oh yeah, let's let's update the points as well while we're at it. Let's let's go ahead and do that. Because that's the thing that I am able to do. So that one and it's number one has also gone down to there. So that's that. Um it goes half and half, however. Vulcan is not in the best of health. And apparently I'm still I'm still up. That's nice. Okay, it's incredible how cheap these things are. So efficient. Right, this is where Fen has to make a decision in his life. Um, probably to get aggressive, if I'm honest. With one health left, he's a guided missile. He just has to do as much damage as humanly possible before he dies, which is why I decided to shoot earlier in the game. Uh, because I'd much rather him do a five dice shot and then die as opposed to try and protect with a focus um, and then not yeah just choose not to shoot thinking oh I might survive but if it's 50 50 chance you might as well take the shot um, so now the key here is to threaten both ships at once so the question is how do we do that uh, red is easy he has to go forwards he can't do anything else if I go short I have the most chance of not getting blocked if I go fast, I can crash into the Falcon, probably get killed by Wedge. Depending on where the Falcon goes, I'm expecting the Falcon to deal one bank here. End up there. I should get a shot. Probably. If the Falcon does deal one bank, I can move Pinky first, and Red can just crash into him. That's fine. I think those are sensible moves. As long as I have enough things shooting at the Falcon, then it will die. If the Falcon does decide to turn in hard, then I should still be able to kill it. So let's go with that. I have enough I have enough threat into Wedge at the moment. For it to be a valid strategy. Again, we have no idea where the Falcon's going, but we should be able to work with that plan. Wedge at this point has spent both of his protons, so he's down both proton torps, which is good. He's still got his afterburner, so he's a pain in the ass. 
but he is vulnerable enough. Let's see what you got, beastie. Right. Do do do. Do do. Yep, there he goes. Very nice. Uh, it's going to be close. It's going to be very close, actually. Okay. So he just takes the evade, stays there. Lovely. Okay. So things. Oh, fucking hell. What the hell? What the hell? They're, they're completely unchanged. Uh, yeah, so apparently that happened. I don't understand why. Maybe I still had them selected when I was changing blue, but he... Oh. Well, I'm a moron regardless. No idea why. I mean, yeah, that should have been hard to and hard to from both. But, oh well, apparently Blue's going off the board, so GG well played. Right. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Maybe it's a Sunday night and I'm tired. Uh, should have been hard to left. Hard, uh, from blue, hard right, from pink, then two forwards. Uh, but I'm happy to leave with set. Uh, not even. <laughs> like, I have no idea. I'll leave it. Fuck it, you make a mistake, you do that. If you make a mistake, you make a mistake. Live with it. Try and win the game anyway. Right, let's see what happens. I. That's very frustrating. We either leave them as is, or you get to set them. Uh, because it is it is an official tournament game, so no issues. I'm just stupid. I don't understand how that happened. I must have had them still selected. Shout out to Mion if you could leave the dials yellow around the edges instead of red, that would be helpful. It's quite hard to see red against green. Uh, if that's okay. Mm. God. 
Right, let's hope Wedge has gone straight and not just down on one bank to the right to nuke the fang. Because I'm just about to lose two ships in one round here. Well, three ships because I have a fang off the board. Um, hopefully Fen can do enough damage to this falcon to make a difference. Or apparently I'm not the leadership. I mean... This is nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Right, so let's just... Uh, well, this at least was the move I was intending. Is there any way that I can get out of Witch's Arc here? I might be able to. So if I boost forwards, I might dodge him. So I'm going to try. I at least get range one arc on the Falcon. So. Oh yeah, sorry, where she's first. Right, now it'd be great if he blanked out here. It'd be really, really good. If he rolls a single hit, I can actually dodge it. I only get one, because it's wedged with that manoeuvre. Yes! Okay. Let's see what, he, see what we get. <laughs> oh yeah, fair, I deserve that. I can still win this if... Oh, that's not how I win this. Yeah, that is, this is this is GG well played. Because now the outer rim just kills the fang. At least he takes a crit here. If he takes a blinded pilot, it could be okay. Or like a damage thing. Oh, interesting. Are you going to spend it? He is going to spend it, okay. So, he takes one crit. Cool. Well, Red can still kill the Falcon. Hmm. <laughs> Moron. <sighs> All right. Well, let's see what we got. No, dead. One, two, what's the crit? Crit is, oh no, sorry, crit's the second one, so that's the crit. And damage engine, so it doesn't matter. That's fine. Um, okay. So, takes down, so Tor takes, him to three. So he takes a crit and then he takes a sword damage. So what's the crit? Hey, well, that's going to make life easier. So I just need three hits, and then it's Fang versus Wedge. We can totally do this. Even though I have a stressed Fang. 
Ah, terrible. This is going to be interesting. So I'm reasonably sure because that that should have been the outcome. That should have been the outcome, and I should have had two fully healthy fangs versus wedge, and I would have got a free shot on wedge as well. Anyway, anyway. So now. Is he still stressed? Yeah, he did three bank. He is still stressed. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Um, yeah, now I have to do things and make decisions, which is tough. Yep, everybody's stressed. Well, at least this is now really easy to do. This, oh, well, this could be a fun, this could be a fun exercise. So let's just update all of the dead things because everything is dead. Oh my God. Jesus. Um. <laughs> yeah, so I I lost three ships in a single turn because I am really, really dumb. Da, da, da. That's why is that being a pain? Oh well, no idea. Well, we know where he's going. Okay, let's actually pay attention. Ah, uh, we can do this. Fang versus wedge. Oh. So yeah, we're just going to have to get away here. There is no way that we can do this. So the only only thing that we can do here is go away for a couple of turns and then joust him and pray that I do enough damage. And he messes up. That's literally the only thing. So round seven. I can't really do enough damage to him. The problem is, is if he, if he has a focus lock on me, then he kills me in two rounds because I only get two dice. I can't really do anything about that. So yeah, let's let's work it out. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, we're just gonna have to see if we can get around him because trading I think trading at range 3 is my best option annoyingly um, oh nice yeah trading at range 3 is absolutely my best option if I trade at because then it's evens. It's 3v3. Three, three three. Oh, you motherfucker. I need to remember all of the things that he has. I'm just playing this game like it's playing against a standard wedge in a three ship list. I suppose a two ship list wedge. Might be a chance in hell that I don't get caught by that. Maybe. Check for range. It's gonna be in. Yep. 
How, how close? Yeah, not even close. Oh well. At least I get three dice. No, I don't. I would normally get five. So I get three dice. Do 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 la 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 stupid 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 well, that works hey lucky fang dolls it is <laughs> yeah, and unknowingly I should tra trade with him at long range, but I don't have the option here. He is going to get me at range 2, which is literally the worst range in the world for me. Because I don't get the auto evade. Uh, he, might, he might get overly aggressive, actually. If I can get into range 1 here... And that's good news for me. How many turns? We've got eight turns. Might be able to get him to spend his bonus. He might be cheeky. So. This is going to depend a lot on... Where he's decided to go. Hopefully, he's got a bit more aggressive. Not just in on one forwards. I'm expecting him to steal one bank or one forwards. But he might have gone two bank down to the left. Yeah, there he goes. That might be in range. That might actually be in range one. I don't know. <sighs> So let's just trade shots and find out, shall we? This is good news. <laughs> yeah, but I. He hasn't done the dice maths. Because it's wedge, it's. And stop rolling crits, please. Because it's wedge, it's better for me not to face him at one. But I'll take that. Single crit. Crit says, wounded pilot. That is not ideal. That is really bad. Okay. Uh, a wounded pilot means that I could just be left stranded without my focus, which is bad. For V2, he didn't spend his focus though. Oh, wow. That's going to sting. Go on, blank. One of those needs to be a blank. Yes! Crits it is. Crits for days. Oh my god. Okay. Um. <laughs> Ooh. So that's next turn. I think that's that's really interesting. That's really very interesting. Before you engage, gain one iron token. So if I can... Uh, yeah, I can see why I can see why he's annoyed here. And I would be annoyed too. Um, I 
This is the nature of the fangs. Sometimes that variance just picks you out of holes. I mean, sometimes it just kills you. Like, complete blank outs are a thing. Now, the I, all I, all I need to do here is I just need to just need to do a hard two. And I can get behind him. I think. I think. Because if he if he does the K I have a grumpy bunny. This just got interesting. Um, I have no right to win this, but I might just do it. Yeah, no right to win this, but I might just do it. Hmm. Because after next turn, he's going one forwards. And he spent his target lock. Oh, that's a really big deal. The thing is here is I have two options. A wounded pilot on me is a pretty big deal because if I roll a hit, I'm stressed. Wedge is going to do a K turn, or he's going to do a one forwards, or like turn around or something like that. Um, yeah, we'll we'll work it out. So we're going to go there and. Uh, I'm going to have to think. Because I was hoping that I'd be able to catch the K-turn. I'm not going to be able to. Uh. So, if he K-turns... <laughs> I don't think he's going to K. I don't think he's going to K. So I'm going to flip the crit and live with my decision if I'm wrong. Also, I don't think he can kill me if he does K turn. That's a big gamble, but. Averages say that I should only take one more damage. There we go. Didn't think he'd do it. What did he do? Let's see what you got. He's just running for it. Oh my god, he's running for it. Okay. Um. Cool. Yeah. So... We've got the hard one and the boost. And we've got the talent roll. Talent roll puts me in range, I think. So fracking close. The hard one and the boost, I don't think gets me in. So I think it has to be a talent roll. Right. Um, really tempting to run away but I don't think I can get away from him uh, right because if some of you guys look at the points we got points we got points we got points we got points and we got points
points. I'm winning technically. Uh, but it's not going to make a difference if I can't kill Wedge because I can't run away for seven turns. So let's go forwards as possible and pray. I don't think I've got him. I think I missed my opportunity because I wasn't in the right position. But I couldn't do anything about it. At least I flipped my crit. Let's see what happens. Yeah, not him. I didn't know whether that was going to be in or not. Oh well. So now it's round 11. Okay. I think he's going to K-turn here. What's the easiest way of getting around him? I think that is. Okay. Cool. I think we get an opportunity here. So the reason I'm doing this is if he, ah, uh, see I can't risk if he does the town roll, so I'm going to have to come in, I'm going to have to come in, because I get modified dice and he doesn't, and he could be at range 3. So if he town rolls, I think he's got me here, it's going to be really, no, I've, I've got him in arc, it's fine. I was considering just, there we go, he's running away. I was considering taking the um, ah very nice. Well, I got rid of his last burners. Yeah, I was considering taking the um, lock at long range. Yeah, burners are gone. Okay. Oh, that's not a good place to be. He's got to do the barrel roll then. <laughs> oh, okay. Take the lock. Sure. He's getting desperate now. Well, it's K turn coming in from next turn, so. Let me get the lock back. No range dials. Oh, this is getting spicy. Do I just run? I don't think I can yet. I can't yet. If I run now, he gets 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, five rounds to chase me down. That is not okay. I can play a little bit of ring a ring around the rosies with that rock. Take no damage, probably. Or at least block him up. And then I can get away and win on points. It'd be really annoying. Alternatively, if I can get him close enough to death, I can just joust him. Because I can't risk jousting him right now. I not gonna not gonna kill him like he's not gonna blank out I'm not gonna get four hits again so huh His dials just disappeared. <laughs> you 
Yeah, this is this is a really weird one. I've never had a Vassal game this buggy before, but the dials are just moving around and everything's weird is going on. Very, very, very strange. Very, very strange. Okay. So we do one of those. And I think I'm going to stay at long range. I like being at long range and not stressed. It seems nice. Because if the K-Tan's coming in from him, then... Oh, he's done the four forwards. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. Oh well. Okay. This is where life gets really interesting. Round 13. So, he's out of burn, isn't he? Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I just assumed that was out of range, uh, but that was really close. <laughs> so. He has a target lock. Um, he has a target lock on me, which is a problem. It's a really big problem. Can I fit? So, what I want to do is I want to do a two straight and then a boost. Because that puts me back. Where is it? Two straight is there, there's there, there's there. Puts me here. And then when he does his inevitable, he's either going to do a town roll or he's going to do a hard two. Might even do a 4k. Four rounds. Nope, we're going. I think we're going. Are we just disappearing? I think we're disappearing. Oh, thank you for the subs. We like the subs. Oh man, this is a really hard decision. This is a really, really hard decision because three bank puts me there. Then I can do a boosty thing. And three bank and a boost. That forces him to roll, so he's only got the target lock on me. And he might just do it. Two bank, uh, two forwards and a boost give me a way better option. But if he does a talent roll, there, he's got a range two shot on me. If I can fit a barrel roll into the three bank, then it still doesn't get me out of range two from the turn roll. Uh, if I do a three bank and a boost, it gets both. Oh, I think I'm just going to have to do it. I think I'm just going to have to do it. I lied, I'm running away. No, let's let's make it interesting. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I I think he's doing a talent roll. So, you know what? I am gonna barrel roll backwards with a stress token because. That will still catch the town roll, but it should put me at range three. Yeah, got it. Called it. I want a range three engagement. He's got a target lock. I get three dice. If I get range three here, it's three against three. He's got a lock. I have a focus. I prefer those odds. I would like this to be range three, please, when you check the arcs.
Yeah, that's right too. Oh well. If he gets a hit on me, I'm losing. I'm expecting three crits here. Oh, my kingdom for a focus. Okay. Takes one. I'm on half health. I'm losing. Okay. So he spent his lock. Let's see what we got back, shall we? Oh my gods. Does vassal. Just just vassal. Oh he's oh, two crits, man. If any of those is a double. <laughs> the stabilizer, okay. Yeah. Not dead. <laughs> Oh man, this game is insane. This game is insane. So, he can go Wounded Pilot after you form an action. Okay, so if don't go straight. If he doesn't go straight, he dies. This is quite a funny situation to be in, to be fair. Um, okay. Okay, we can deal with this. Now what I need is, I need to be able to get a target lock on him. I need to be able to get a lock on him, so I reckon I might be able to get him here. I've maybe we'll see. We'll see. Yep. Well, three rounds to kill him. He's got one health remaining. I've got two health remaining. Fangs on half. Let's see what we got. This has been stressful to say the least. <laughs> this is not an example of high level X-Wing, I have to say. I I did not win the regional plane like this. Usually flying your ship off a board is a bad idea. I think you can see though that one on one, the fan can do alright. Like you just you put it in the right places and it can get the dice to win the game. So, um, I'm going to stay there, and I'm going to take a target lock. If he goes over the top of me, he goes over the top of me. I'm hoping that he gets a stress token when he takes his action. Because he, he has to crash. So... What one is this one? This is three. So three gets a lock. He's still got the stabilizer though, so he can't turn around. So I can freely K turn.
this is the thing he because he has to keep the stabilizer he there is literally no way he can get out of this well, there's one way but I'm not going to tell him what it is I will tell you guys after I've done it ha ha just in case he's watching you never know do, 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 do. Um, yeah this is this has been a crazy game I I haven't deserved all of the luck that I've got in this game um, I f yeah I mean I flew a ship off the board you shouldn't win from that you shouldn't win from that and I've got a chance here There are some situations where getting a loose stabilizer doesn't kill you. Other situations, you are just royally screwed. Yeah, yeah. Um, if he was just a little bit further behind, then he'd be absolutely fine. I don't deserve this one. But I still haven't won. So let's see. I don't think he can get out of this. Because I think he can get out of the K turn because he boosts. I don't think he can get out of this one because if I set myself backwards. I think he just goes, oh! Well, that's a hell of a way to end the game. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah <laughs> that that was one of the worst games of X-Wing I've ever played um, and also one of the most stressful and entertaining um, so there we go internet there's one for you to enjoy uh, what not to do yeah <laughs> so much so, so much. Oh God, I, I, I think I don't, don't deserve that. Yeah, some, something smiled on me there. Somehow, just. Uh, let's let's see just how bad the Lady Luck stats are. I'm, I'm going to explain them to you um, in a second. Right, so versus graphs. Oh! Uh, Right, let's let's just see what we've got here. So 
all of the crits in the world. My defense dice were pretty hot. Not gonna lie. Yeah, like Fen just dodging everything at the start of that game was nonsense. Absolute nonsense. It's a shame. Um, yeah, I mean, this, it's still a really good game. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to leave you guys. I'm going to leave you guys to that. And just hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, I apologize for not showing you the best flying in the world. Um, I mean, I talked through some of the tactics and then messed most of them up because I didn't take the initiative and therefore blocked the RRS. Uh, turns out that you should probably block things. Um, I just, I forgot a good 50% of his list at the really important times. Uh, Luke being able to move his turret arc, like, oh god. Um, but, hey, sometimes you do that. Sometimes you do that. And, yeah. <laughs> right anyway stream thank you very much for watching i'll see you guys later hey see you nick uh really good to see you and yeah i'll have these uploaded